Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. This is our New World series, as you can see here. And looky, looky, I've been busy. So what I've done here is I've produced all the appropriate... Uh, produced or created the appropriate you know, way for us to to you know, load this thing up and to get it to 100% as well. I've been playing long enough for this to get to almost 100. Um, it's slow down here near the end just because of resources. Um, yeah. So anyway, so these guys are producing again. I ran out of these uh, speed modules. Um, so yeah, so let's go take a quick peek at the at the whole base here, and we'll go from there. So let's see here. Ah, uh, the pipe. So we got solid fuel production, which of course is down to nothing because we need to produce... Let's see, so this stuff. So we're actually producing less. But we should be okay. We're almost ready to launch the rocket, so that still is a good ratio. Down here, I, I replicated kind of what happened up top there, as I replicated it down here. Kind of the our production for circuits. Trying to load this up with 800 plates in each of those, and then down here, 400 plates of steel, and then. This is our train station. I've also added a, a, a new train route right here, which is a copper train. Um, it's a solely dedicated copper train, which is nice. Uh, this is our... I doubled our production facility here for, for steel plates, just because we need them. As you can see, we are loading this up, loading that up. And we're loading that one up. Well, we're trying to anyways, with plates. And then here, we're trying to do the same thing. We're trying to load this one up, this one, this one, and even this one. <laughs> and then what little copper we do get kind of come down. And so, yeah, so let's see. So let's change these guys to the slow ones. Interesting. That one and that one. Which now will probably slow down this production here. Okay, so we got a constant stream of robots going up and delivering to this up here. I just want this to fill up completely so that way then production can slow down. Then more copper will come down the line. Um, so up here, we have this stuff still operating, looks like. Not for very much longer though, because this deposit is definitely being chewed up. But we still have quite a sizable amount. This whole stack isn't being used anymore. Same here, and same with here. I've also routed part of the, the iron you know, down and around. And I hooked it into our main iron. We've got up here, we got a bit to take care of. Right here. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see here. So then over here, we, I've tapped into this resource here. And then I've also done the same up here. I've tapped into this resource up here, this iron. And this is basically where it's all kind of coming from. Uh, we're also being attacked over here from these areas, unfortunately. Um, I need to put radar units to stop the advancement of the, the biters, but that's okay. Uh, so this is our, our whole area. So let's kind of carry on up here. We'll just go on a walking tour while we're waiting for that rocket to get done. Do you have your tasty treat? Because I do. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so here, what's going on? Here we have same kind of stuff going on. 
We got this little copper deposit that we are tapping into. Let's actually do that now. Now this is coming on here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Looks like everything's going just like as what you would expect. Uh, let's place some more around here, just a little bit more. And uh, the robots are doing the trick. Is that it? Oh, yeah, I think we're out. And we're out already. Perfect. There goes the train. Train's tapping into this, which is plenty of of uh, of coal. Do I have anything up here? We do have a copper deposit that we can kind of tap into. I was thinking about doing that. <clears throat> hmm. Kind of harvesting this deposit. Maybe. Maybe we'll tie that in if we absolutely have to, but I don't think we do. So, yeah, so that's all this operation. This is kind of the, the first oil operation that we had, and now it's kind of you know, useless. You know, just these two guys and the other... Well, we got the car here. Let's use the car. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, this is our solar array. Ooh. Let's hop out here. So this looks like this is done. Okay, perfect. Let's take this all away. And so what this is, is this used to be our stone from this area. So it's kind of like to help augment the current stone. Okay, and so this is our copper deposit kind of area. Let's take out these. So this copper deposit is the big deposit that we are tapping into. And we're hauling it all back. Looks like the trains are doing their trick. We got these guys coming around. Um, we got all these guys repairing, which is just exactly what we need. Uh, let's see, that's nothing. There's something there. There's nothing there. I'd like to kind of tap into this as well, but we got long strips here, so very long your longevity of this deposit. Uh, we got biters up there. We haven't really taken care of them. So now over here, we kind of have this base here. This is kind of outpost. And there's those deposits nearby that we can tap into. But you know, these have deposits in them as well that are slowly being ripped apart as well as we speak. And you loaded as well. Here we had another you bunch of you oil, which then you were bottling up and sending back home. Look at that. There you go. Spider attack, probably from that base there. Uh, let's go down over here. Then I created another kind of outpost down here for the oil. There's that copper there we can tap into. I would just basically extend the logistics system and have the robots handle that. So now here currently we're doing the same thing, right? We have this stone chest and when the train comes down here, it will basically offload. You know, pick up any crude barrels and yeah, go from there. Uh, there is a bunch here. So it looks like this deposit now is no longer good. Uh, this is the stone. The stone, I think, is done. Yeah, okay, so this is done. This is done. You might be able to take everything because. here we don't need this this particular piece anymore this piece was our old stone deposit thingy 
So that's awesome. Man, I'm glad that we're done at the end of the game here. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long road. A lot of episodes. You know, you've practically seen everything. I did kind of play the game for a few hours here and there. You know, off camera just to help speed things up. Um, yeah. Let's take that away. Okay, so this deposit... Okay, that will stay so that way you can get transported into there over here we've got some more oil and so these are practically kaputski right yeah okay we got kind of the wall there to stop them so yeah okay so here we go so there's this little kind of outpost I was creating with the little solar panel as well Let's go on the road back. There's so there's tons of little deposits all around. So really, if I really needed to harvest resources, I would be able to kind of tap into all of those. There's this copper right here that we can tap into. Just use the logistics system for this. So we would just basically chop the trees down like so. Right? And, oh, we don't have room though. Shit. Okay, no problem. No problem. We need to throw this into the system. There we go. Run back this way. Uh, no, you need to run back this way. Come on, my pretties. Uh, we gotta be in the logistics system. So next time when we build our base, we're gonna have to make sure that we kind of keep in mind the logistics system. Let's go back over here to pick up the rest of these trees. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, yeah, this will be the next deposit here. Make sure we can throw that in there. So we'll be able to just use a robotic system for that if we need it. That will probably be the next thing to, to harvest just because it's copper. Those are the ones in the immediate area all around. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Throw the wood in here. The wood will get injected in. And yeah, look at this. Look at this. The rocket is here, ready to launch. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching this entire series. I enjoy you... Or at least I hope that you've enjoyed following along and seeing how everything works in Factorio here. You know, there's still plenty more researches to do. There's still plenty more, you know, ways to create things way more efficient. You know, this base was on, on such a large scale that I think the next one will have to be even larger. Because I like these large bases. You know, when you have lots of room, you can just do everything with them. So, yeah. So quite impressed with what I've done with this with all that I've learned and here we go let's give this a launch woo woo look at that folks here we go bye bye Whoa! so cool <laughs> bang there we go folks Shoo. Woohoo! Launch without satellite. Of course, without satellite, because there's no satellites. So, yeah, so there we go, folks. Now, this is back in operation, and you're back in creating. You're creating the next kind of level. So, we got tons of solid fuel here. Yeah, so there we go. So, I can't wait for all this. Ah, oh, just amazing. Yeah. So until Alpha 13, folks, bye-bye.